congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, to quote Al Pacino, just when you thought you were out, they've pulled you, <laughs> they've pulled you back in, shall we say. Um, pulled me back in 30 you, years later. 30 years later. <laughs> just the 30. What's three decades? <laughs> um, what was your experience like? Because obviously you're... You're well known for so many things, but obviously Lady Chatley is a big, big part of your your career. Repertoire. What was it like? Kind Lady of Lady Chatley in? and Hundred and One Dalmatians. Like what a weird. <laughs> those are the those are the two, right? <laughs> get asked well, about. no, then nipped up. But I don't know. Anyway, what uh, was the question? Uh, what was it like stepping back into a world that you know, but from kind of looking at it from a different yeah, different yeah. perspective? What was that? Do like you know for you? what? It was really nice to step back into it. Sort of strange because obviously. It, I was on the sidelines looking in, which was actually really nice because although it was familiar, it was completely different. And with the passage of time, obviously being 30 years older, it, it was really lovely. You know, when I originally read the script, I was like, this is odd. Why have they, you know, offered me? Do they know that da da da? And then when I read the part of Mrs. Bolton, I just thought she was so lovely. And, um, you know, my, my dad was a northerner. Um, uh, I don't know if you know him, do you? I mean, he's dead, but mm. he was a film director. He started Kitchen Sink Drama, very much stories based up north. And that, that's, that, you know, that's 50% of my DNA. So in a strange way, getting to actually play someone who's half of me was, was really great. And it's like, a, a, this is no, me not being disingenuous to D.H. Lawrence at all, but obviously in this era of kind of comic books, you get so many different interpretations of characters. The power of this book is open to all these interpretations. Can you see just why people have gone back to kind of remake it? Because at different points in different times, there's more to say and more things are, are much more relevant. Absolutely. And I think that's a really good question. And I think with the classics, or in its day, the infamous classic that was Lady Chatley, there's always more to say. And certainly in these times when it's about women's rights, women empowerment, certainly globally, it's very topical. And there's a, obviously uh, Jack and Emma at the top of this, both of whom have had such great careers in such a short amount of time. What was it like watching them? Because obviously you've been part of that relationship, but this one, again, it feels different, yeah. but obviously I guess feels yeah. similar. Well, I, mean, I didn't you... get to watch them per se. I mean, when we did the read through, Jack was sitting to my right and Emma was sitting just across the table. So that was the only time because obviously, especially nowadays, it's very much a closed set, not just because of we've all come through COVID, where, you know, no visitors in the old days, it was like anyone who wants to visit the set can now it's very much a closed set especially with a story like this but if I was in a scene with them then you're sort of less watching because you're in it so immersive and um but it it was wonderful to think that story was going on and I I was indirectly a part of bringing helping the lovers to get together and and I always think that's a nice thing to, to you, help. Have they let you see it? I have seen it. Oh, okay. I saw it the night was before that, last. Was that a strange, given your connection to it, was it a strange, or actually was it quite no, cathartic it, to be quite it, removed from it? It was neither it? strange nor cathartic okay. to see it again. I it, Honestly, it was so long ago and although I have very fresh memories of like Kim Russell and, and Sean Bean, who I, you know, I absolutely love and adore, um, it, it was just like seeing a new film, um, but knowing the story, you know, same way when you've read the book and then you see the film. Uh, and I think this is such a new take. You know, it, it's so, although, you know, it, it's set in the time that it's set, it, it's, it's also very modern. It's shot from a modern point of view that's reflected in the costume design. And obviously Emma, as a very modern, modern, artist is uh, uh, them leading the way also gives this such a, a beautiful, powerful, fresh slant. It's ironic that you mentioned about. I completely forgot until you just said it that Ken was your director back then because I was just talking about him in the press room with somebody. Were you? Yeah, uh, talking about, ironically, talking about the devils. Uh, <laughs> of course, of course. I don't know how of that course, came up I get that a lot. But there's a link to that as well. Yeah, there is a link to that. Do you know what? I was very fond of Ken in all his wonderful, you know, anarchic ways. Yeah. You know, he was one of our greats. Yeah, what was it like working for, for Law? Because obviously she's come from some amazing work as well, but she has such a clear and very distinctive vision different to what 
you guys. What was it like working with her and seeing her bring this? Because it seems like it was a bit of a passion for her to bring this Again, back to life. I wasn't really party to it. I mean, I worked with law, but, uh, you know, marginally. So I, I, I can't compare the two. Um, uh, but I think that, that uh, she's done a beautiful version. What was your conversations like with her, like before you'd 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 come on? We, I didn't really have any conversations with Law. It's funny you sort of get offered a part, and then you go to the read through. You meet everyone. Suddenly you're on set, and uh, so we we didn't really have any conversations. And uh, obviously, some audiences are not younger audiences aren't familiar with this and they're going to see this and obviously it's going to be on Netflix so it's going to yeah. go the world yeah. over. What are you hoping they kind of take away from it? Because there's so much going on in the book and as yes. you say even now in 2022 there's a lot more of it that people can kind of relate to that maybe they wouldn't have years ago. Watching the film for me in answer to your question I just felt really exciting that, that excited that this was coming out for a new generation, I mean, also older generations who've maybe seen other versions or read the book, but I, but I felt that for young people to see this and to see a very, uh, you know, wonderful adaptation or version of it, I thought this is so great. It's all about bringing the story and the story's brought home. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Pleasure so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey you guys! Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey you guys!